Charlotte City Council members had a packed agenda tonight. They approved funding to renovate an uptown park and name it after a Queen City banking mogul. Our chief political correspondent, Emma Withrow, joins us live from the Government Center to break down the highlights of the meeting. Emma. So what used to be known as Thomas Polk Park will be soon known as Hugh McCole Park. And 350,000 taxpayer dollars are going into renovating the park in Uptown. Hugh McCole is the former CEO of Bank of America. Councilmember Lawana Slack Mayfield's opposed to naming it after him because he's still alive and she thinks the namesake should go towards honoring the legacy of someone who's already passed. She's also concerned about using taxpayer dollars for this project. In the capital fund, I really feel like there are other capital needs that we have right now that that $350,000 could, could address. Nevertheless, city partners will be demolishing and renovating the park on the corner of Trade and Tryon. That was just a small piece of tonight's heavy agenda, though. The meeting started out with presentations from Safe Charlotte on their alternatives to violence program and CATS on their current issues and improvements they're pursuing. Some members of council were surprised to hear about a blue line light rail derailment that happened in May of 2022. So you just found out about this two weeks ago. I think I can speak for council that we didn't know about this. So that's concerning. Cats officials say the derailment was caused by a bearing, which is present on the entire fleet of 42 cars. To avoid additional issues, they're using technology that identifies problems with bearings before their failure. Cats is also increasing inspections and lowering the max blue line speed to 35 miles per hour. We are certain that we have mitigating measures in place and we and we feel that the the vehicles that are running, we can catch the the bearing issue before it becomes catastrophic failure. Members of the public were given the opportunity to weigh in on the idea of lengthening council and the mayor's terms from two to four years. David Merrill, a former Charlotte City Council Republican candidate, doesn't think it's a good idea. Polls show that likely voters in Charlotte overwhelmingly oppose the extension of terms. You are choosing to ignore that polling and the recommendations of your own advisory committee. The Citizens Ad Hoc Advisory Committee did not recommend council lengthen their terms. Council will later vote on whether or not to bring this idea to a referendum. From there, it'll be up to the voters to decide on the next ballot. So council members also got an update on social districts. Apparently the city has received two applications for social districts, one coming from the Plaza Midwood Merchants Association and the other coming from a place called Glide Brewery. Now it's going to be up to the council to vote on applications and the social districts entirely on April 8th. And then I believe, no, they're calling for a public hearing on April 8th, and then they're voting on that in May. They want to stick to that schedule. Council member Tark Bakari stressed that tonight, that Charlotte's really well behind the rest of these major cities in North Carolina when it comes to actually getting social districts established. So he said to the council tonight, you know, we need to stick to the schedule with that April 8th and that May deadline to actually get these in the works. But it was a long meeting tonight. That's pretty much all we got for now. Check our website, QC News, later on tonight for more details on this meeting. But for now, reporting live from the Government Center, Emma Withrow, Queen City News.